Well, this looks like a good start for <laughs> another day of flying. Good evening, lads and laddies. How the hell are you? Are you doing well? It is Sunday, August 9th, about 9.15 p.m. in the evening uh, where I'm at right now, which is Gainesville, Florida. A little bit of rain outside. Uh, it was a 12-hour day, four legs today. Ended up, or started actually, <laughs> ended up in Gainesville, but started at about 4.45 in the morning in Flagstaff, Arizona. So three different time zones again this this day, <clears throat> but lots of flying, lots of flying. But anyway, so I haven't been doing a lot of filming. If I have, it's just been kind of very sporadic uh, the past week and a half. And why is that? It's because if I'm not working, flying, I'm flying. <laughs> so I went back to San Diego. Um, Went back just for a little bit, just because I, I, I guess I, I, I guess I miss it, you know. I'd seen my friends that last time, that last video that y'all saw, not the latest one, but the one before that, and just hanging out with them, going back again, just to kind of hang out and just talk, you know, get back to being real again, and I think that's that's something that I'm missing right now in my life, so. Good to see some friends. Did some work with the with my uh, with my mom. She <laughs> had a lot of uh, mulch that she got from, I guess, some neighbor that was knocking down some trees. So we had to put that mulch somewhere, and you can see that footage coming up here shortly. But anyway, what we also did was something that I've wanted to do is start to learning recipes that my mom makes you know for some good Japanese soul food if you will the first one that we did we did go to actually let me preface this before and we did go to Mitsua down in um, on convoy and I did get a gyudon and so with that with the gyudon she wanted me to have some kind of salad as well so we made this salad and it's um, a mixture of it's a it's a it's a bean sprout salad mixed with apple cider vinegar, hondashi, and sesame seeds, and a little bit of soy sauce as well. So, hondashi. What is hondashi? It is a powdered form of fish broth, and actually it's just called dashi. Hondashi is actually the name of the brand, and it's it just it's made with like MSG and all that so it's a flavor enhancer so to speak with the fish broth so what we did was we cooked the um, bean sprouts and whatnot and you can see that footage here and we also added sesame oil I forgot about that sorry so we're boiling the water you put the um, bean sprouts in for about two minutes then you drain out the water do not put cold water under it because because of the fact that the bean sprouts are hot when you're putting the sesame oil the hondashi and you're putting all the uh, ingredients into it it makes it makes it stick to the bean sprouts so, so anyway we're mixing the uh, bean sprouts here making sure they're loose you know not not crunchy but a little bit crunchy you know just so it has a little bit of uh, feel to it we're mixing the sesame oil sesame seeds apple cider vinegar and the hondashi we're not using the whole pack we're only using half a pack. You don't need that much hondashi to make the make it taste good. And there you have it, folks. Okay. So after that was lunch, and then after that I did some work. Uh, about two hours, maybe three hours altogether of just putting the mulch away and all that good stuff. So Back in San Diego. <laughs> haven't filmed again in a long time, but have a week off so I decided I was gonna try Montana and now there's something else stuck in my shoe 
I was gonna try Montana, but uh, going from Dallas to Bozeman, all the flights were in the negative. So I decided, yeah, I'd come back to San Diego. Uh, I tried to go yesterday, Sunday, but Saturday night, unfortunately, I ended up getting sprayed by a skunk. So, fortunately, most of it did end up on my clothes, not on me, but didn't want to take a flight to, didn't want to take a flight at all with the skunk smell. So, anyway, I just wanted to tell you, not all days off are vacation days. See this mound of mulch. Putting it inside the wheelbarrow right there, and then putting it down here. All this is mulch. So, just kind of helping out the fam while we're, while I have a few days off. So. We made a donburi. We made an oyakudon. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. My mom always corrects me on it. Oyakodon, not oyakudon. Oyakodon, and that's part of the donburi family. Now, what is donburi? Donburi, donburi, basically, the rough translation in Japanese is bowl. It's a bowl, but it's that term is used mostly for rice bowls. So, if you have something like katsudon, oyakudon, or gyudon. Those are different variations of a rice bowl. What we made was oyakodon, which was the chicken. <laughs> it's just chicken. So you got chicken, mushrooms, onions, on top of uh, like some scrambled eggs, but the eggs are not fully cooked with a sauce. So the type of sauce that we actually used this time around was a soba type of sauce. So soba is the the cold noodles that we use, especially uh, that we eat in the summertime. Japanese like it, you know, the hot weather. You want to cool down with some buckwheat noodles and the soba sauce. The soba sauce is a mixture of soy sauce, dashi, and probably a little bit of sugar. I thought I tasted sugar in there. So just hook that up, and it was mad crazy. It's really great to learn types of recipes that you know my mom has what made for me when I was a little kid you know now I'm starting to learn those things uh, most of the time especially when I was in Korea when I when I lived in Korea for six years I actually made katsudon because in the Korean marts over there or I guess grocery stores in Korea they had pork cutlets that were already panko flakes basically so all you had to do is just kind of fry it up cut it into pieces put it on your donburi and there you go. You've got the onions, the chicken, and the mushrooms. They're all sauteing together with the with the soba sauce. And soba sauce is a little bit different. Um, I take that back. There was no sugar in it because it was a little bit more salty this time. Covering it up, letting everything marinate, gel together, you know, and make it taste so wonderful. This time around, we did not use just a white rice or brown rice. We did a mixture of both and we cracked open six eggs which we could have used five we could have used five and again what you do is you take take the um all the ingredients off of the heat mix it up together mix up the eggs pour it on top and then put the cover back on for only about two minutes two and a half minutes maybe you know just so that the eggs are not raw but they're not fully cooked and why is that? Because when you're putting it on a, on a bed of rice that's already cooked, it should be already steaming. So when you're putting the eggs on top of the rice, it's steaming up those eggs as well. So by the time you are serving, it's already cooked, okay? And it's not a scrambled egg. Again, it's not a scrambled egg. And it's got, because the egg is so loose, it's picking up some of that, um, that soba sauce, basically. And you just add a little bit of Add a little bit of nori onto it, the seaweed, the seaweed that you find around sushi and all that. Fantastic dish. So after that, ended up uh, the next day spending dinner with my friends uh, Junelle, Gio, Gil, Dave, and Gil's son Killian. We went to um, a restaurant 
on convoy called uh, Chicken Cross Street. And yeah, we just kind of chilled out and just had some soju, yogurt soju, and sh shot the bull, basically. Let's talk a little bit about Pokemon, since this is partly Pokemon. Uh, the Dragon Week already happened. It was an absolute failure. And I think the first two days I, I came to the realization that this was going to be one of those cash grab type of events, uh, hatching those 7k eggs for a shiny Gibble or a shiny Dino, you know, and not getting it because the, the hatch rates uh, were so piss poor. I only did uh, two rounds of nine eggs incubated for the, for the 7k eggs, realized that whole cash grab, so I stopped immediately, ended up just hatching a couple of 7k eggs when I when I ran out of other eggs you know so I didn't use my incubators as much just because that was a bad move Niantic <laughs> this this week is the Enigma week so the new Pokemon is Elgem and he it um, evolves into some weird brown one I don't know the name off so whatever Pokemon it is it's right there and uh, last yesterday, yesterday was the calm day for Magikarp. I didn't think I was going to have time for it, but I was actually in Columbia, Missouri uh, until about my showtime was like 2:45 in the afternoon. So I ended up paying for that dollar um, task, the research task. I just like I said before, I love seeing a full research task completed uh, page, you know, and I don't want to skip one if I don't have to. So it just it's kind of a reminder of all the uh, type of adventures that I've had with this game since they started doing these kind of special research tasks and it just reminds me of like oh I was in you know Chicago when this uh, the spooky message came out you know back in 2018 or anything like that it just it brings back memories so I did catch about I think I want to say 11 Magikarp shinies and two of them I evolved uh, maxed out uh, with double moves my first Gyarados had Twister and some dragon move and maybe Outrage I think it was and a water move for the fast move so I maxed that one out because it was it was a pretty high IV in the 90s I want to say maybe between 95 to 97 so max that out uh, got my Stardust back up to 4.3 million I had it at 4.5 before, and then when Deoxys came out, uh, I, I started putting up all the, um, oh, not Deoxys, when, when Rayquaza came out, I ended up beefing up some ice types like Glaceon and Mamoswine and all that, so I went back down to about 4.1 million, so now I'm back to 4.3, and uh, let's see, oh, speaking of Deoxys, now with the Enigma event, there is the shiny form of the normal type Deoxys. You can see the footage right here. I don't have to say anymore. Actually, I do have to say more. There was only three people in the lobby. <laughs> I was a, I'm level 40, this other dude was level 40, and then there was a level 38. So you can do it with three, possibly even two. So with that kind of ratio and the fact that someone is supposed to get a shiny, I got the shiny. So anyway, tomorrow, uh, I've, I've really got a short time uh, for this layover tonight, so tomorrow should be another adventure. Hopefully it all works out. See you later.